M0FXP, welcome back to my videos on the Anytone D168UV. Today we're going to compare the Anytone 878 with the 168 and of course once I've got the radio in my hand I'll be making lots of tutorial stroke learning videos. On the right hand side here if I just enlarge it you'll see it's a very nice looking set. It does have a signal meter on the screen, it's, dual, it's a dual screen as well. Now, unusually, it does have the GPS logo, I noticed, but if you look at the specifications, which we will do in a second, it does not do GPS or Bluetooth, but it can do APRS, and it says here, with a fixed beacon only. And, and also, thanks to Brandmeister's uh, settings, you can actually make most DMR radios do APRS. So it's DMR, VHF, UHF, has 500,000 contacts. That's the standout thing. It's a smaller design. It's more like the... Alinco MD5 and thanks to is it Radio World for their photograph very nice photograph actually so that's like a dinkier smaller but it does have radio but it does have two volume sorry two turning knobs on top and a full keypad and thanks to Bridgecom for their specification comparison here I highly recommend Bridgecom if you're well, anywhere in the world and they do provide a lot of support and training as well so thank you for this Side by side, we'll just go down through the list here. Start at the top, GPS. So the 878 is a yes. The 168 is no. Bluetooth, no, but yes on the 878. Top button, there's no top button. Analog APRS with a fixed beacon, but the 878 has got APRS. Receive and transmit on certain models. You've got SMS, APRS is a yes and a yes. Airband on both sets is a no. Well, that's a shame that they didn't include airband, isn't it? 500,000 contacts, larger memories these days. Uh, firmware, CPS, yes, of course you're going to have that. Uh, I've not heard of the ARC4 encryption, but it's there on the 256. Satellite, no, that's interesting, because I thought that with using memory channels, you could set up pretty, pretty much any radio with satellite. But anyway, this one is saying yes, so I'm sure it's got some enhanced settings where you're going to enjoy and be able to use sat satellite um, easier, basically. Uh, noise reduction is yes on the 168, no on the 878. Part 90 certification is yes uh, by September. Uh, red certification, yes, by September. Transmit power is that's interesting vhf on the 878 is seven and six and on the 168 is five and four so it's lower powered battery wise is oh yeah you get two batteries and two antennas with this set i've noticed and look, there's the price uh, nice uh, starting price there from from bridgecom as well so in the uk it's going to be a couple of hundred pounds and uh, you know I, I love dmr radios and if they're dunky and packed with features even better there's the two batteries and your cradle charger, USB-C, yes, everyone's doing that now. I think that's the rules now. I'll just flick through some of their pictures here. They've got video and big thanks to Bridgecom again. I like that photograph. That's a nice one, isn't it? So I think they're going to be popular. It's DMR radio. They're not expensive. With a DMR radio, if you get yourself something like an open spot or... Um, I know with even with a Pi-Star hotspot, you can cross mode to C4FM and... I think it will even do things like P25, but don't quote me on that. So thanks very much. The, you know, the, the thing that prompted me on this was actually um, 2E0, oh, I've forgotten the course I now, pointed out that although it does show a GPS logo just just there, just on the top in green, that the information, the specifications that we're getting from any tone are saying that it doesn't include GPS. So maybe that logo may come on when you put in your fixed fixed location. But the fact that it's green, I still think I wouldn't be surprised if in the end they do a GPS model. Thanks very much. And the size of it is very also very similar to the Anytone BT-01, which is actually a Bluetooth microphone and screen. It's not a radio, but it interacts with your 578. And I, I, I really enjoy using it. So you know these these items you can tend you can normally buy adapters that will add Bluetooth to you know most radios very inexpensively uh, nowadays. It's, 
I'm sure it's going to have a Kenwood connect connector on the side. A few more pictures here as well. The batteries. I, I noticed, I, I looked and I actually did make a video of this radio over a year ago. I didn't realise that I had, because um, they had a pamphlet out with lots of radios that they were talking about releasing. And that was a year ago, um, but finally they are doing it. I'm going to see if I can get the software for it. Yeah, I managed to find the CPS and the operating manual. I'll put all these links in the description. The thing that I'm still curious about is, look, if you look at the top here, I see the GPS logo. So I'm just looking through the instruction manual. So if you look here, 7.9, it says GPS positioning function optional with installed GPS. So there you are. Maybe you can have it, but you've got to pay extra. So here's belt clip instructions, type C, AC adapter, charger, the two battery packs, one's bigger than the other optional accessories speaker microphone so maybe they're going to put it in into the microphone maybe maybe it's just a, a you buy a different radio i actually got a uh, any tone microphone here that only came yesterday so i'll be doing videos connecting that to a few radios but it's nice looking sorry it's not the clearest image but anyway there it is So I'm just going to flick through. There's your charging dock, earpiece, wrist strap. What's that on the left? Multi-charger. Ooh, very nice. Preparation, adding the battery. There's your speaker. I wonder if it is an actual speaker microphone. So there it is again. Now this is, there it is there. That definitely is showing GPS. So um, I think it does do GPS, but the right version. So look here, monitor, recording, so it records GPS, Bluetooth, Vox. Oh my God, there's even it's even showing Bluetooth. So, yeah, this is an interesting one. Anyway, color code, all that kind of stuff. And this, you know, if you look, this is the manual for the, and if you go to the top, this is the manual for the 168. I know it's, I've enlarged it, so it's clearer. ATD1168UV. It's there. This is it. Right, we'll keep scouting through. So maybe the they've decided the first, they don't want to compete too much with the 878. And they decided to change some of the specifications possible. You know, ultimately it's a business. They don't want to compete with themselves. So thanks very much for watching my channel. Again, thanks to Bridgecom. Here's the firmware and the CPS. And thanks to M6LSJ. Um, check out his page, M6LSJ Code Plugs, for finding the CPS for me. As you can see there, lots of messages coming through from Lionel. And looking at it, it's even got the icon update where you can change the icon. But let's focus on the CPS. There's firmware. Just, there's a CPS there, I think. Double click that. I'm doing this for the first time. You know me, I learn in front of you. Uh, many people think that I'm a teacher, but I'm not. I learn, I turn on the camera, and you're there. Right. Oh, let's go back. Next. Install. Launch. I'm pretty sure it will look identical to the usual Anytone software. Oh, I've got a new window here. What's this? Oh, look at that. And <laughs> even in this, we can turn on... GPS, Bluetooth, and APRS. So I don't know what they've decided. Um, any tone. This is a real interesting one, hey? Yeah. Um, because I'm definitely being told that it doesn't do these. And even in the list from Bridgecom, you don't see it. But yeah, it's identical software. You've got channels, zones, and then you've got to create digital contacts talk groups, just the usual software. I'm not going to program it right now. Um, I will do a video programming it. You've got to put in your DMR ID as well. Remember that. Find the call. I haven't used this for quite a while. Just here where it says radio ID. Put in your DMR. There, like 2341437. And then, oh, 
There you go. I had to double click it. Two, three, four, one, four, three, seven. Let's go. You don't, this bit actually isn't important, but you can just put M zero FXP. I'm pretty sure um, you, if I go to the right section, you can have multiple. Yeah, of course you can. It's right here in front of me. Multiple uh, users for this radio. Contacts is a really important one. All your talk groups, which are also called contacts. Then zones. If you want to create a channel, you just go here where it says channel. Double click. Start to call. So if we go GB3. WR and then we just go 145.600 receive 145.000 transmit and then what you could select digital analog in this case it's analog select your tone encode and literally you're done that's an analog one created digital you just keep it on digital um, let's call it hotspot Put in the frequency of your hotspot and mine it's 438.5 i think it's 25 on on the b on because it's a simplex hotspot it will be the same 438.525 digital and then you'd have to select your contact once you've created them but you can import and export all this kind of stuff um i look at that radio id is wrong there um, let's have a look Oh no, it's, it's me selected, I just did a typo. Color code one or two, slot one or two, actually it's not color code one or two, there's lots of color codes, but it tends to be one for hotspot, three for repeaters. Slot one or two, if you wanna know what slots are, half a channel is a slot. Um, it's that This means you can pass data and voice communication just using half of the channel, it's very handy. And you can select groups if you want, digital, your transmit power, uh well we've missed anything else i think oh yeah you time out how long you can talk for and aprs settings will be in a completely different section just here and there's a there's definitely a learning curve to aprs when you're on dmr and gps it's all there it's all there uh and lots of other settings so all the links will be in the description looking forward to getting this and you know me uh, i'm going to save that I um, call that the 168. I won't just make one video learning this device. I will make, you know, 50. That's just the way I am. Thanks for watching my channel. Thanks to Lionel. And um, th big thanks to BridgeCon73. Please remember to hit that like button. And buy me a coffee. Why not? 73.